Hey everybody, and oh, welcome back to my channel. It's Wolanda. So I got ready to do an entire different video, but I didn't have the content for the video I was about to do. So let's go ahead and do what's in my travel bag. We are in the midst of travel season. It is summertime. It is hot people are on flights people are enjoying their lives out and about and i love that i am a travel fiend but since i moved to dubai i don't know dubai done spoiled me here and i really haven't had the urge to go anywhere else because like I, i'm spoiled here to be honest i could go anywhere i i like doing more staycations than actually getting on a flight and going somewhere because you you can't you cannot be customer service here you can't anyways i digress let's go ahead and get into what i normally travel with when i do get on a flight so i've been on to a couple of places here and there this year and I normally just bring this as my personal bag. This is the authentic uh, Mark Jacob, the tote bag. I purchased this back in 2020, right, right when it first came out. And this is in the color Argan Oil. Is it Argan Oil? <laughs> I think just Argan. Y'all, I did a whole tote collection. So if you guys want more in depth about size and fit and all of that and what I think about this bag, um, go ahead and check that video down below. I'll leave the link. Spoiler alert, I love this bag so, so, so much. Every time I travel, I literally cannot wait to travel so I could carry this bag because I don't carry this bag on a regular because it is such a soft, malleable bag, and I like more structured bags on a regular, on a day-to-day. -day. So this is strictly for traveling. It expands really well. It has so much space, and it's just a perfect color to travel with. I've been around the world with this thing, and it has suited me well thus far. So I absolutely, absolutely love this bag like i said i've had it since 2020 so for a good three years now and it looks brand new i absolutely love it it is a zip bag so let's go ahead and get into what i actually care with me so normally this bag is considered a personal bag for most airlines but i don't know why last month when i did travel out this bag was considered a carry-on for Qatar Airways. And I think it's just, with them, it depends on the weight. Even though I did have a carry-on bag that I, carry-on luggage, suitcase, that I was intended to take with me as my carry-on and then this bag being my personal bag like normal. But I don't know. They, I think they stopped at 7 kg and they said, if it's over 7 kg, then it's considered a carry-on. So being that I was only able to carry one bag on, this was my carry-on, and my actual carry-on had to be checked in, which is, which is weird, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. Anyways, that being said, normally, this is my personal bag. I normally fill this up with things I know I will need right away. That's one thing I don't play with. I've traveled so much to where there's always something that is not planned <laughs> that happens when you travel like last time with Qatar, but that's a whole nother story. Um, there's always something happens. So I make sure I fill this with my essentials and what's included in my essentials is, I lied. This, I, oh, actually I normally do carry my makeup bag with me. This is my makeup bag. I'll go into it in a little bit. I normally carry my makeup bag with me in my actual carry on. And I normally don't put it in checked bags, but if my bag has to be checked, then I have no choice but to put it in a check. Well, it has to go into the plane. But normally, this is what I'm carrying for my makeup bag. It's huge. It's malleable. It's faux leather. I thought about upgrading this to a 
a real leather, a genuine leather, because I'm just really obsessed with real leather bags, just like the actual carry-on or personal bag, the Marc Jacob bag is real leather. But then I thought twice, I'm like, Wolanda, well, it's going to get dirty. It's going to have a lot of bangs and hits and stuff like that because it's my makeup bag. So why not just keep it as full leather? So I didn't upgrade it and I don't think I'm going to upgrade it anymore. I honestly thought about upgrading it to the new um, YSL. You know, I wanted a bougie one. <laughs> Oh, the YSL bag that looks just like this. I think it's probably a little smaller. I've seen it in person. And it's quilted, and it was black, and it had the YSL logo on the front. It was real cute, and I wanted it for my makeup bag. But when I went to the store with my mom, my mom was like, girl, it's not really necessary, especially for the price they were asking for. I'm like, you know what? You're right, mama. You're right. It's not necessary. So I am keeping this. It did have a... um a pouch like right down the middle that was like a line pouch and it was just so unnecessary to me so I did cut that out and now it's just a big open space and I love it I got this from Target when I was back in the states and Target still has these available in different sizes Oh, uh, no, I lied. Not different sizes, but different patterns, different textures, and they have other shapes um, within the line for the makeup bag. They have like the pencil one, which actually I do have the pencil one. I don't know if it's in here because no, it's not in here because I don't really use that one anymore. I used to use it for my um, makeup brushes, but my makeup brushes are a little bit thicker. They're bigger bristles and all of that. So um, I don't use that anymore. I did upgrade from that to this right here. So this I got from Shein. And this is what I use for my makeup brushes now that I travel. I bought this because it stands. So you could literally, you could literally fold the plastic like this and it should stand on its own on any surface any soft, hard surface. So I got this instead because I normally carry an extra round, like a little cup, or if I'm in a hotel, I use the plastic cups that are in hotels in order for me to put my brushes in. Because y'all, when I travel, I like to be comfortable everywhere I go. I want to make sure I'm not going out of my way for comfort that I'm already bringing comfort in. So this really helped me because I don't have to hope and pray there's a cup in the room or if I'm Airbnb in, there's an extra cup for me to put my makeup brushes in and have it just sit um, for when I need it. So I love how this is a two-in-one, is a storage, and it is a holder as well. And so far, it's been very useful for me, and it just closes like that. And I keep it inside my makeup bag at all times, and I just put my entire makeup in here. Um, skincare, do I put, I don't put skincare in here, just makeup and makeup brushes, and it fits in carry-ons, it fits in personal bags. I absolutely love it. All right, that's that was long, but <laughs> let's keep on going. Okay, so the next thing I have in here is, I mean, it's not really the prettiest thing. It's probably like the cheapest thing I could find when it comes to, and the most, I guess, comforting cushion, more cushion thing I could find. This is my laptop sleeve that I use in order for me to carry my laptop in. Um, it has a soft inside. My my laptop that I use is the MacBook Air 11 inch, like 11, 12 inch. It's like an old MacBook. I absolutely love it because it fits everywhere. I'm scared, I'm scared to upgrade it because they don't make that size anymore. I would have to get like a 13 or a 15 and I just don't want to. But this is where I keep my cords and my laptop. Mm, I think that's basically it. Yeah, for my electronics. And it's normally always in this bag because I have to have my laptop with me at all times. Next, I do have this. Um, 
it just depends how much, how long I'm going to be out and how much equipment that I'm bringing. Uh, from the past year or two, I've definitely minimized how much equipment I am bringing with me because things break, things get lost, things get stolen. And thank God, as of as of now, I haven't had anything stolen. I mean, praise God. I can't knock on wood right now, but like praise God. But I've heard horror stories when it comes to things being stolen. And these things are pricey. Laptop, hard drive, external hard drives, uh, phones, cameras, everything you need to create content, tripods, like all of that. They're expensive, so I've definitely minimized when it comes to traveling with whole equipments. I try to go with really the basic of the basic. So when it for this is what I normally use to put in if my if I have extra cords that cannot fit in that pocket of the sleeve of the laptop, then I put the rest in here and or in here mainly in here I put uh, memory cards, um, SD what are these these like SD card um, things. What else? batteries, battery chargers is what I normally put in here because it is soft and they're normally smaller for me to be able to um, control control them. And then for the big one, I normally put rolled up chargers and all of that good stuff. So that's that. And I have this bag in here, which I got from the Bulgari Hotel and Resort when I did a staycation for my birthday here in Dubai. And this is literally just, um, I use this like a dirty underwear, dirty sock bag because I have to have one. If I don't bring this, then I just normally use the trash bags in the rooms to put dirty underwears because I don't know about y'all, but I cannot mix even my dirty clothes. I cannot mix my dirty clothes with my underwear, especially when I freshly take them off. It's just, it's just yuck to me. So I always like to separate them and normally I put them in here. If I remember to bring this with me, if I don't remember and I'm just taking things out, then I just use a trash bag. Speaking of trash bag, of course, I will always have a trash bag in here, either one or two. Two, because it just depends. Like If I know I'm going somewhere that is tropical and I will have swimsuits or things that are wet I'm going to be wearing, I do not want to mix those with my wet clothes or just my clothes that are in my suitcase. Then I have my bag, but most likely, most often I have one in here because this is what I use to, um, like as a shower cap because I don't use shower caps. I use just regular trash bags <laughs> to prevent my hair from being wet, mainly because if I'm on vacation or if I'm traveling, I have a protective hairstyle in. And it's either knotless braids or it's some type of extension it added to my hair. So it's like it's a protective hairstyle. So those are normally bulkier and they won't be able to fit in, in shower caps. So trash bag it is, especially if I have it in a knot bun, the knot be like this high. I need a long bag, the, the, the small trash bags a long bag for me to make sure my entire hair is secured when I am showering. So that is always in there. This one actually just came in the mail yesterday from noon. I did pick up, and I told you guys about this when I did a video of what facial spray that I used. I do use Got To Be Glued uh, hairspray as a setting spray, setting spray to set my face, to make sure my face is locked and is not going anywhere. My makeup is locked and not going anywhere. Um, I do use this at home, but I do have the big one at home. So I did want to get the small, I think this is two ounce one. It's a hundred mils. So it's eight. You're able to travel with it, but I don't know if I can get on a plane with it because it's a, in an aerosol can. So, so we'll see about that. 
I haven't tried, but if they go ahead and throw it out while I'm at a while I'm in a plane, I'll be mad. But this wouldn't be in here though. This would be in a checked on bag for sure. So I did go ahead and pick this up to include this in my makeup kit because I need the face to be facing the entire time I have makeup on vacation. Even though I realize when I am traveling, that is the time I wear the least amount of makeup because I just can't be bothered. <laughs> and it's not like I'm recording as much as I used to when I travel. I'm, I'm past the recording and creating content while traveling. I'll probably do something here and there and have it in my phone. If I want to post, I post. But I'm not traveling like I used to before where I'm traveling to create content. No, I'm traveling to enjoy my MF life, okay? Not to show y'all where I'm going, who I'm going with, who what I'm doing. I'm so beyond that. I've been loving the exclusive travels I've been doing. And yeah, so I haven't been really caring about putting makeup on, to be honest, while I am traveling. The next thing I have in here, I have these pockets on the side. I'm trying to work with one hand here. I have these pockets on the side, and in those pockets, I have my converters, my charger, my outlet converters, and this one, I don't know, I got this from Amazon, or probably, I got this, mm, actually, I remember where I got this. When I went to Spain, I actually forgot my converter at home, so I had to pick this up, and it just has all three, the US, the U, UE, and UK. Yeah, I have this one here that I, why did I get this? I don't remember. Oh, I got this because I do have my nail drill that is EU. I said UE last time, didn't I? Yeah, I think it's EU. <laughs> that is EU and I need it. I need this at home, but I put it in here when I'm done with it, when I'm done doing my nails, because I don't want to lose it. And, you know, there's there's no, ain't nothing wrong having extras in here because there have been times where I have to ask the hotel to borrow theirs or go purchase my own. And you just get tired of purchasing the same thing over and over again when you have about three or four of them at the house. Right. All right. Then I have this little bag, which is real cute. It's from Eco Sushi. Um, they said it to me when they sent me a PR, a PR package, and I just went ahead and kept the bag because it's useful. It's real soft. It's light blue. It's faux leather, and it just has some random stuff in here that I know I'll need, but really not touching. If that makes any sense. Like I have my reusable equip floss equip equipped floss i have a cinnamon film in here i have a random toothpaste in here um i have antibacterial toilets in here um i'm missing something which i normally have i normally have my toothbrush in here as well because there has been times where the layovers and the delays have been real so toothpaste and toothbrush has got me gone has got me through um but where oh the toothbrush is uh, it's later i'll show you guys and then i have my flexi disc for my period if somehow I don't know my period is coming or which is not normally the case because I always have that handled <laughs> before I leave. I always know what's on my calendar, what's coming up next for, for my time of the month. I was like, just in case I have it, if I absolutely need it, because one thing for sure is I don't do pads anymore and I don't do, um, and I don't want to purchase a whole nother cup when I have 
cups you feel me so normally in here i do have my uh lube my mini lube as well mm, okay i don't know why it's not in here but i'm gonna put it in here in a little bit but it's in here so this i purchased from hopefully nothing's leaking no this i purchased from she in and i think i got like two or three of these they're thick material i thought they were gonna be flimsy and i thought they were gonna rip by now because y'all know how mm -hmm, y'all know how she and be Ooh, it smells so good here but surprisingly it's not ripped and it's it's holding on strong so i really like these i got them in three different sizes that's the largest one this is the medium one and that did no this is the extra large this is the large the medium is a little bit more square and then there's a mini one which the mini one i didn't purchase because i don't need anything smaller than the medium okay so let's go in here i love how thick it is like it's hard for anything to puncture in it so first off what i have in here I have the spray bottles that I picked up from Shein as well. So I'm not a big purchaser of Shein, but I do get a, like travel accessories, little hair accessories, nail supplies. Those are basically the things that I get from Shein because those things should not cost an arm and a leg. And you know, on Amazon, because of the retailers, the third parties, they mark up the price when she and like these are basic things and i'm not about to buy them again at walmart or target because those qualities are i feel like even worse than the Shein one so i'm not a big supporter of Shein, but when it comes to travel stuff where i may have to turn them over after a while if they are getting gunky or if they break or if i lose them or if they throw them away at the airport then um i'm not gonna be too mad at it and i like the fact that they're not branded i don't care for up and up i don't care for this type of travel assist i don't care for any of that I just need something clear or something sustainable something um that will hold up and it won't break in my stuff and spill everywhere and yeah so i got these and normally when i do my purchase from Shein, when it comes to travel re-ups i do them all at once because like i said i'm not going back and forth and making purchases with Shein. so if i need something then I do it all at once. I put a list, an ongoing list, and then when I'm ready to purchase, I purchase. So I got a couple of these bottles from Shein, and they're just these, what's PG, what's it, P-E-G, these plastic bottles, which you could spray. So this one I have, so this one has my hair oils in here. I am very adamant about making sure my hair routine is staying the same because I've definitely did bad when it comes to traveling and hair care. I would let my hair dry, especially when I'm traveling for months at a time. I will let my hair dry and even though if it's in protected hairstyles, I just wasn't take care wasn't taking care of it as much. I was very lazy with it. So I'm very adamant about making sure my hair routine at home is gonna be the same as my hair routine when I'm traveling. This is my hair oils. In here I have my hair refresher mist that I use. I always keep a travel a roller ball set for deordering always in here this is specifically when i travel because i don't want to forget anything when it comes to me trying to put everything in my home into here there's only a couple of items that i do transfer between home and here and i'll show you guys actually let me do this now and it's actually in a smaller bottle that i put just just like the ones i showed you but this is just a mini version i think this is 30 mils when the other one is 100 mil um this is my face toner and i don't need a separate one for the house and for here so this one i'll make sure i travel with or i put it in my travel case every time i leave let me put let me put this back over there because i need it in the house um what else i have in here i have these little 100 mil little cases i'm pretty sure these are everywhere this is a gray one this i keep my face wash in it. it smells so good oh 
is it face wash or body wash? It smells like Axe or is it Nivea? I don't know. Either face wash or body. No, that's body wash. My fault. That's body wash that I put in here. Because the small one like here is my face wash. This is just my bliss. I empty out and put in here. I had to. But then recently when I traveled, I think I forgot the other one in the hotel. So, yeah. Now I have one. This was supposed to be in the blue case that I show you guys. This is just my lube for when I do, if I do need it while I'm on vacation, if I have my period somehow, then I do keep my cup in here. My cup, this is the Diva cup. I don't use this at home at all. I already have I have a cup and I have a disc that I use at home that I keep and then I have plenty of lubes here. So I just add more lube in here and I always keep my diva cup in here just in case, just in case I somehow forgot or I don't know, just in case I need it, I have it. But normally those are in the blue in this because most of the time, most often this is going to be in the carry on luggage because with all of these liquids, they be trying to have you put everything in that clear plastic bag, the quart size clear plastic bag, and all of that is not going to fit in there. And I've had times where they went ahead and threw out most of my liquids because it didn't fit in there. So mostly this bag is going to be in the um, in the check-in or... Yeah, just checked in because, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> no, no. Then I have this pink one. This, what's in here? I think this is lotion. Yeah, lotion. I normally use the hotel lotion, Airbnb lotion. <coughs> um, To be honest, but just in case. It doesn't have, or I don't like what is what they got going on over there. I got this from Shein as well. This comes in handy because I don't like keep on using dirty brushes on my face when I do put makeup on while I'm traveling. So I always normally have to clean it after like two or three uses. And like I said, it depends on how long I'm out. Uh, my edge, my edge. Uh, brush whatever this is my mini edge control that I use absolutely love it this is gorilla snot been using this forever um it's gonna be hard for me to go through this entire thing I have a big bottle here at home in the mini one either I refill the mini one or I buy a new one but most li most likely I refill it because I rebuy the big one um what else I have I have this little patterns little thing they sent me this a long time ago when I when they as a PR gift with a whole bunch of other stuff and then here I just have extra safe hairpins um rubber bands and hair elastics the big hair scrunchies in here just in case I need it for my hair and then the last thing I have in here is just this mini bar soap that I use for when I'm cleaning my brushes. Um, it's a new one. I haven't used it yet. I got it from a hotel. Normally, I just get the bar soaps from the hotel to, to restock in here um, because those are the best that cleans brushes. Yeah, so that's what I have in this bag. That's really all of my hygiene stuff. Stuff. Yeah. And then in this bag, I have a toothpaste in here. I have a toothbrush that I always keep in here. And I use that toothbrush to, to brush my tongue really because I do have an electric oral B toothbrush that I use on a regular. So that one, of course, is always going to be in my bathroom until I need it. Then I put it in here. And yeah, so basically, normally this is in that blue one as well when I board plane, just in case just in case I need it because one thing I don't like being is sitting in that plane and everybody bro smell like corn chips so <laughs> I have that and then this I absolutely have to have with me because traveling especially in Europe they don't have the little mini face towels that a lot of hotels in 
uh, U.S. has. And those are what I use to wash my body. I can't wash my body with my hands only. So I've learned just to always bring this shower exfoliating rag with me. I use one here at home. So I just got another one from Shein to make sure it's always in here instead of me going back and forth and remembering to get it in my shower and put it in here. So I put all of that in here because those are the wet items. It's easier to separate those. Everything else in here normally are not wet. Those are things that I use outside the shower unless, like I said, it's my face wash or body wash. But like I said, I don't really use body wash often unless it's not available in the uh, in the Airbnb or hotel I use. So normally here is where I keep all the wet stuff. Oh, is it already cracking? Mm, mm, mm. Normally here's where I keep all the wet stuff and I'm able to just leave it open and let it dry. Um before I put it away, store it away. And that's about it. I think the only thing I have in here is this hand cream from Dove that I have. Normally I put it in my bag, I put it here, it doesn't matter. But that's basically all that I carry with now. It's mainly just hygiene items, um, making sure that I have enough, you know, hair products and stuff like that because before, before, I will literally travel with a full bottle in my um, checked-in bag, and when I need it, it will be hard for me to access them. And honestly, you do not go through a full hair, or not hair product, but just a full bottle of anything when you're traveling because you're normally only traveling for a couple of weeks or months. Normally, you go back and refresh all your stuff, go back home, and then come back out and travel to another destination. So all of this, I, I don't go through, honestly. I've had a lot of these minis for a while, for a while. Even this axe I've had for a while. Um, yeah, I just use them accordingly. Those are like my backups, just in case I don't have anything to use that I like and the accommodations that I choose, but normally I do. Anyways, that is all that I have. Let me guys, let me guys, let me know what you guys have in your travel bags if you're traveling this year. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.